Emma is planning a party. She has 24 candies and 36 toys to put in party favor bags. Using all the candies and toys, what is the greatest number of identical party favor bags she can make? The greatest number of identical party favor bags is the largest whole number that will divide into both 24 and 36, which is called the greatest common factor of 24 and 36. Looking at the definition below, the greatest common factor or GCF is the largest positive whole number that divides exactly into two or more given whole numbers. The GCF is also the largest common factor of two or more given whole numbers. And there are a couple ways of determining the greatest common factor. One way is to list all the factors of 24 and 36, and then identify the largest common factor. Another method involves the prime factorization. In this video, we will only be looking at the factors of 24 and 36. To list the factors of 24 and 36, we will make a multiplication table for both 24 and 36. And I've already done this to save some time. The multiplication table for 24 is 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. These products give us the factors of 24. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. The multiplication table for 36 is 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 6 which means the factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Now that we have the factors of 24 and 36, we simply identify the greatest number in both lists of factors. Notice 12 is the greatest number or largest number in both lists of factors, which means 12 is the greatest common factor. This tells us that Emma can make exactly 12 identical party favor bags. To complete the next sentence, using the greatest common factor of 12, notice 24 is equal to 2 times 12, or 12 times 2. And for 36, if we use the factor of 12, the greatest common factor, we can write 36 as 3 times 12, or 12 times 3. So this tells us if we make 12 identical party favor bags, because there are 24 candies, each of the 12 bags will have two candies. And because there are 36 toys, and 36 equals 12 times 3, each of the 12 bags will have three toys. So there will be two candies and three toys in each of the party favor bags. Remember, we can think of 12 times 2 as 12 copies of 2, and 12 times 3 as 12 copies of 3. Let's take a look at a model of this to verify the results. Again, we found the greatest common factor of 24 and 36 to be 12, which indicated there will be 12 identical party favor bags. And because 24 is equal to 12 times 2, or we can say 12 copies of two candies equals 24 candies, each of the 12 bags will have two candies. And because 36 is equal to 12 times 3, or 12 copies of three toys, each of the 12 bags will have exactly three toys, which we see here. These 12 bags contain a total of 24 candies and 36 toys. I hope you found this helpful.